So what I have done, I have added one name of Ganesh which, ra which are with a Rashi, right? So Vakratund to Aries chanted as Om Vakratunda Namaha. Ekadanta to Taurus chanted as Om Ekadanta Namaha. Krishna Pingaksh for Germany chanted as Om Krishna Pingakshaya Namaha. Gajvakta to Cancer, Lambodar to Leo, Vikat to Virgo, Vigna Rajendra to Libra, Dhumravarna to Scorpio, Bhalachandra to Sagittarius, Vinayak to Capricorn, Aquari Ganapati to Aquarius, Gajanan to Pisces. What you can do? Two, three things you can do. In Chaturthi worship procedure, you will follow the same setup. Like fasting setup you will follow. Evening you will take bath. Wooden stool, Ganesha over wooden stool, leave everything. Take the name of the Rashi, whichever you will want to remedy. Chant that name as a mantra 108 times. After that, do a moon mantra and you are done with the process. Right? The rules of fasting, the rules of eating, etc. You should follow what you have to give in prasadam that you already know. Point one. Secondarily, I have connected the obstacle with the ninth house. So as per the Rashi in the ninth house, as per the Rashi where the ninth Lord is situated in, or if the ninth house is aspected by malefics, then as per the Rashi from where the malefic is aspecting the ninth house, you can choose one name or multiple names. That you can chant 11 times minimum every name or one mala of every name that you can chant on a day-to-day -day basis. Continuously done for four months, right? Because four or 13 years is told. Na? So four year you convert into four months, 13 year you convert into 13 months. Constantly done for 13 months. We will remove the obstacle from the ninth house. The same process can be done for ascendant also. Okay. So for example, Aquarius ascendant person to remove obstacle from their life, Om Ganapati Nama is what they should be chanting daily. One mala daily, 11 times daily that do, they can do. This approach I am going with taking Ganesh as remover of obstacle. For ninth lord it can be taken, for uh, Lagna lord it can be taken. Right? Alternatively, you can do one more thing. You can take it for Ketu also. Ganesh, I am connecting to Ketu. So as a Ketu remedy, you can take, say I am say, having Ketu in Cancer. So Om Gajvaktraya Namaha is what I should be chanting for Ketu in Cancer. Okay. If I am doing Chaturthi Vratas only, then Ganesha becomes my Devata. Then also the name of Ganesha as per the ascendant should be taken. Okay. Now allow me to tell you a little bit more. Now because we are talking of Rashi, why not talk of Rashi mantras? So some Rashi mantras are there, which is for every Rashi. Basic point is, strengthen the Lagna Rashi. It gives you name, fame, status, everything. Alternatively, you can take any Rashi that you want to strengthen. Rather, pacify. Mantra is pacification and strengthening at the same point of time. Gemstone is strengthening only, not pacification. That's why I put more importance to mantra than Sutras because pacification and strength at the same point of time. The list. Om Shreem Lakshmi Narayanaya Namah for Aries or Om Hreem Vishrupaya Namah for Taurus. One more mantra is there that also you can do for Taurus. Om Kreem Keshavaya Namah for Gemini. Om Hreem Hariharaya Namah for Cancer. Om Kreem Madan Gopalaya Namah for Leo. Om Hreem Paramatmane Namah or Om Hreem Pitambraya Paramatmane Namah for Virgo. Shri Ramayanamah for Libra. Om Kreem Janaki Ramayanamah for Scorpio. Om Namo Narayana Yebhi Mantra Sarvartha Sadaka for Scorpio Alternative Mantra. Om Hreem Kreem Bhagavate Namah or Om Hreem Kreem Om Hreem Shreem Kreem Dharni Dharayanamah for Sagittarius. 
ओम श्रीम वत्साय उपेन्द्राय नम फॉर कैप्रिकॉन श्रीम गोपाल गोविंदाय नम फॉर एक्वेरियस ओम ह्रीम दामोदराय नंदनाय नम और ओम ह्रीम श्रीम ह्रीम रथांग चक्राय नम फॉर पाइसिस द राशि विच हैव टू मंत्रा यू हैव मल्टीपल ऑप्शन द राशि विच हैव वन मंत्रा यू हैव वन ऑप्शन ओनली दीज आर रिलेटेड टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट गॉड्स So you can either go by the Ganesha list that you will go only if Ganesha is the Ishta Devata that you primarily worship. Ishta Devata can be based on your own choice of which deity you resonate with. It can be based on the fifth house of the horoscope. It can be based on twelfth from Atmakarak. Whatever method you are using, whatever method the astrologer finds suitable, you are the astrologer. Alternatively, if the person is not having a particular Ishta Devata, they can take the mantra as per the Rashi also understood. In this same of Hassan, suppose Hanuman is your Ishta Deva. then these are the 12 names of hanuman aries hanumate namaha taurus anjana sunave namaha gemini vayu putraya namaha cancer mahabalaya namaha leo rameshtaya namaha virgo falguna sakhaya namaha om you have to add libra om pingdakshaya namaha scorpio om amit vikramaya namaha sagittarius om udadikramanaya namaha कैप्रिकॉन ओम सीता शोक विनाशकाय नम एक्वा ओम लक्ष्मण प्राण दात्रे नम पाइसिस ओम दस ग्रीव से दर्पण नम इट इज फॉर हनुमान हनुमान इज यूर इष्ट देवता यू विल चैंट इट अदरवाइज हनुमान रिप्रेजेंट पावर विच प्लैनेट विच एवर प्लैनेट नीड्स पावर विच एवर प्लैनेट इज वीक As per the Rashi of the planet, you can choose the mantra. If you do the mantra for Sagittarius, all the planets in Sagittarius will be powerful. alternatively power is represented by the third house so the mantra of the rashi where third lord is situated in should be specifically done if the person wants to increase their own power and influence last but not the least hanuman is hanuman is represented by mars saturn or mars saturn is represented by hanuman either way you say right so the as per the rashi occupied by mars and as per the rashi occupied by saturn that particular name of hanuman can be taken that can be chanted and this will be beneficial like ketu represents ganesh mars and saturn represents hanuman understood yes ashish ji kuldevi kul devata can also be considered as ishta deva Okay, sir. Thank you. With Hanuman, let me go one step further. As per nakshatras, suppose because Hanuman is Vayu putra, no, and Vayu also rules a lot of nakshatras. Swati nakshatra Om Hanumate Namah. The nak choosing the name as per the nakshatra of moon gives power to a weak moon. Lagna nakshatra gives power to lagna that gives you name fame status longevity also. Nakshatra of the third lord, nakshatra of Mars, nakshatra of Saturn can be taken. I have only given nakshatra names for Hanuman. Why? Because the nakshatra of Saturn and the nakshatra of Mars will be highly afflicted nakshatras also. So remedy is needed. Om Anjana Sunave Namah for Visakha, Om Vayu Putra Namah for Anuradha, Om Mahabala Namah for Jeshtha, Om Kapindra Namah for Mula, Om Pingaksha Namah for Purva Shada, Om Lanka Deep Bhayankara Namah for Uttara Shada, Om Prabhanjan Sutta Namah for Abhijit. Which planet is in Abhijit? If you want to know, Jagannath Hora will tell you. Sarvato Badra you check. Abhijit is empty. No planet in Abhijit. So manual calculation you are but left from. Om Vira Namah for Shravan. ओम सीता शोक विनाशकाय नम फॉर धनिष्ठा ओम अक्ष हंत्रे नम फॉर सतभिषा ओम राम सख्ये नम फॉर पूर्वा भद्राप्रद ओम राम कार्य धुरंधराय नम फॉर उत्तरा भद्राप्रद 
ओम महोश महोषद गिरे हारिणे नमः और स्वाति ओम वानर प्राण दायकाय नम अश्वनी ओम वागीश तारकाय नम भरदी ओम मैनाथ गिरी भंजनाय नम कृतिका ओम निरंजनाय नम रोहिणी ओम जित क्रोधाय नम मृगाशिरा ओम कदली वन संवृताय नम अद्रा ओम उर्ध्वर से नम पुनर्वसु ओम महासत्वाय नम पुष्या ओम सर्व मंत्र प्रवर्तकाय नम असलेशा ओम महालिंग प्रतिष्ठात्रे नम मघा ओम भाष्यकृते नम पूर्वा फलगुनी ओम जपातवराय नम उत्तरा फलगुनी ओम नित्यम शिव ध्यान पराय नम फॉर हस्ता एंड ओम शिव पूजा परायनाय नम फॉर चित्र शुड बी चैंटेड राइट आफ्टर दिस राम सी राम इज धर्म यू नो राम इज धर्म प्रसनिफाइड तो एज पर एसेंडेंट राम मंत्रा वन शुड डू सो दे आर फॉलोइंग धर्मा प्रॉपरली अल्टरनेटिवली धर्मा कम्स फ्रॉम द नाइन्थ हाउस ऑल्सो टेंथ हाउस ऑल्सो आई विल पुट धर्मा इन टू टेंथ हाउस एज वेल द राइट धर्मा टू डू so as per the rashi of the 10th lord as per the rashi in the 10th house can be chosen ram is your ishta devata then you will choose the name of the rama which is coming to your ascendant and coming to your moon sign either way right alternatively ram sun represents ram or ram represents the sun so as per the rashi of sun also ram can be chosen you go by your choice no problem ओके okay. जितना भगवान का नाम लो उतना अच्छा एरिस ओम श्री धराय नम टॉरस ओम रघु नायकाय नम जैमिनी ओम रामचंद्राय नम कैंसर ओम रावणांतकाय नम लियो ओम लोक पूज्याय नम वर्गो ओम जानकी पत नम लिब्रा ओम वासुदेवाय नम स्कॉर्पियो ओम श्री रामाय नम सजेटेरियस ओम दुर्वादल श्यामाय नम कैप्रिकॉन ओम लक्ष्मणाद्रजाय नम एक्वायरियस ओम गोविंदाय नम पाइसिस ओम सेतुबंधाय नम शुड बी चैंटेड इलेवन टाइम्स चैंटिंग ट्वेंटी सेवन टाइम्स चैंटिंग और वन माला वन जीरो एट टाइम्स चैंटिंग दैट यू कैन डू फ्री डू नेक्स्ट वन इज कृष्ण Moon represents Krishna. So, as per the Rashi of Moon, you should choose it. If the Krishna is the Ishta Devata, then as per the Ascendant and Moon Rashi, this should be chosen. And primarily, see Rama upholds Sattva. So, as per the Rashi of Jupiter, Moon and Sun can also be taken. Krishna balances in Rajas. Krishna knows how to deal with Rajas. No one else knows about. It. The Rashi of Venus and Rashi of Mercury, that is Rajasik. can be best remedied with krishna mantra other than that krishna stu bhagwan swayam krishna is the supreme god himself right so in that manner also the rashi of the krishna the uh, all the rashis where planets are there you can take the name of all those rashis and can also chant it so the name of krishna connected to rashi that i am giving you how to use it you are the astrologer you know make okay sir you use it on your own decisions right i have given you multiple options whatever seems suitable to you you will go by that hari hi om for aries namah keshavaya for taurus padmanabhaya namah for gemini you will not add om into it vamanaya namah for cancer ved garbhaya namah for leo madhusudanaya namah for virgo vasudevaya namah for libra वराहाय नम फॉर स्कॉर्पियो पुंडरी काक्षाय नम फॉर सेजिटेरियस जनार्दनाय नम फॉर कैप्रिकॉन कृष्णाय नम फॉर एक्वेरियस एंड श्रीधराय नम फॉर पाइसिस इज व्हाट आई विल रिकमेंड द नेम्स ऑफ गणेशा वी हैव ऑलरेडी डेल्ट विथ तो गणेशा नेम्स आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू
Lastly, Lakshmi. So some can have Lakshmi as Ishta Devata also. Then you will go by the Rashi of the Lagna and Rashi of the Moon and the name of Lakshmi connected to that. Secondarily, Lakshmi is represented by Venus. So as per the Rashi of Venus, you will go by that. Lakshmi is specifically worshipped in Deepavali. Deepavali worship can be a very long procedure. If you cannot do that complete long procedure, you can just take the suitable name of Lakshmi and can only chant it. Right? In the Deepavali night, that will also be very fruitful. The result of that fruitfulness you will see in coming one year. Okay. For Aries, Om Shri Devye Namaha. Taurus Om Amritod Bhavaya Namaha. Jaimini Om Kamalaya Namaha. Cancer Om Chandra Shobhanaya Namaha. Leo Om Vishnu Pataniya Namaha. Virgo Om Shri Vaishnavi Devye Namaha. Libra Om Vararohaya Namaha. Scorpio Om Harivallavaya Namaha. Sagittarius Om Shrangini Devye Namaha. Capricorn Om Dev Devikaya Namaha. Aquarius Om Mahalakshami Namaha. And Pisces Om Lok Sundari Devye Namaha. These are names you can chant 11 times, 27 times, 108 times. You can increase the number also. But Mala should be odd number. 1 Mala, 3 Mala, 5 Mala, 7 Mala. That you can do. Or if you take all the planets and all the Rashis which are occupied by planets in your horoscope, you will have a lot of mantras. So every mantra done 11 times will be okay, right? So every planet you can take a particular mantra. And this for sun, this for moon, this for ascendant. And that you can do 11, 11 times each. That will also be a very suitable remedy. As per the Dashantra Dasha Lord also, the mantra that should be chanted can be chosen. Right? As per the bad transit also, the mantra that should be chanted can be chosen. Right? Why? This is very, very important. I will tell you. Because I have told you one particular thing now. This uh, Kalau Chandi Vinayaka in Kaliyu, Chandi and Vinayaka are the main deities. This is what I told you. I have given you my interpretation, my understanding of the same also. One more thing is that Tulsi Das have said Kaliyuga ekahi naam adhara. In Kaliyuga, the name is the only base. The name is the only boat using which one can go across the sea of this world. The name is the only path to emancipation. Tulsi Das says it. This is the name of Ram. This is the name of Krishna. This is the name of the deity. And these mantras are primarily based on names only. These mantras are based on the names. So, this should be more effective in Kaliyu as compared to any other remedy because Tulsi Das have said it, Methodic Era. Tulsi Das have said it. Also, one more thing is there. See, I have seen many people are getting interested into mantra chanting. This is very good that is happening because it is only mantra chanting which can eradicate the bad karma also. Which can give you good result also. This life also, after life also. Other remedies cannot eradicate bad karma. They can give you temporary relief only. But many a time, people may not be able to do the complete process of Hrdyadinyas, Karanyas, Dhyanam and everything. This They may not be able to. This Nava Mantra Japa, I think, is very easy. Anyone can do it. Even with a little bit of Sanskrit Hindi knowledge also, they can do it. Those who are not very well versed with Hindi also, they can also do it. So that's why I also think that these are very, very important. So this though, according to the Rashi, all of you should do. 